how we saved another life in ICU. I've got news for you, stay tuned. My name is Patrick Hutzel with another quick tip for families in intensive care. I have an email today from Belinda who we worked with and Belinda says we have helped her save her brother's life and I read out the testimonial from Belinda here. Dear Patrick, thank you for reaching out. Sorry, I haven't returned your email sooner. My brother is going leaps and bounds daily and will be moving out of ICU on Monday. Without having your initial highly informative information, we would not have my brother where he is today. We took it all on board and it gave us the confidence to fight for my brother as a unique individual who we as a family believe he is. We stuck to your first statement, which is whatever they say they do, always do the exact opposite and you'll always be right. And in doing so, we have moved forward with those words because it stuck in our minds and gave us such strength and confidence to do the things our way. And it has proven to be, an ex has proven to be excellent advice. And we cannot thank you enough Without it, we would be organizing a funeral and not tears of joy for my brother's hope for his recovery. Much love and respect from Belinda. Now, Belinda's brother went into ICU a couple of weeks ago with a cardiac arrest. The, initially, they were saying he also had a hypoxic brain injury and the intensive care team was adamant within 48 hours to just remove life support because it's not in his best interest to live and it's not in his best interest to have life support comp continued because you, you'll, you'll be cruel and he'll, he'll be suffering. Well, you know, sometimes you have to suffer to get out well on the other end. And, you know, the family is eternally grateful that, you know, just the advice um, helped them to save their brother's life. Like I've been saying here for the longest, our advice here has changed lives, has saved lives, right? And when I spoke to Belinda yesterday, you know, they were the ICU team there was really pressuring them and they just stuck to their guns and said, no, not with us. Uh, you have to look for someone else that you can walk all over, not with our family and not with our brother. He deserves the best and he got the best and that's why he's leaving ICU alive on Monday. Now, I've worked in critical care for nearly 25 years in three different countries, where I also worked as a nurse manager in intensive care for over five years. I've been consulting and advocating for families in intensive care here at intensivecarehotline.com since 2013. And, you know, it is testimonies like these that I know our work here is changing lives because we know that we help families to save their loved one's lives in many circumstances. And you can verify that if you go to intensivecarehotline.com, if you click on our testimonial section, or if you go to our podcast section at intensivecarehotline.com where we've done some quick client interviews as well. Always get a second opinion when you have a loved one in intensive care. Never ever just believe that what you see is what you get because most of the time, what you see is not what you get. You know, if you don't get a second opinion when you have a loved one critically in, in intensive care, you're basically flying blind and your loved one's life's, life is in the hands of only one party and that is the intensive care teams. If intensive care teams and, and intensive care units have pressure on their beds, which I can assure you they have almost 365 days of the year, you know, that's one way to manage beds to stop life support and let patients die and that's how they free up beds sometimes and that's why you need to read between the lines you know another thing is there's such big staffing crisis in icu whether it's doctors or nurses they may have beds but they may not have staff but none of that should be your problem and or your concern your concern is your critically loved one and we are helping you here at intensivecarehotline.com making sure you make informed decisions, have peace of mind, control power and influence. We help you making sure your loved one gets best care and treatment. And that's also why we created the membership for families of critically ill patients in intensive care. 
that we can help as many families in intensive care as possible. And you can become a member uh, at intensivecarehotline.com if you click on the membership link or if you go to intensivecaresupport.org directly. In the membership, you have access to me and my team 24 hours a day in a membership area and via email. And we answer all questions intensive care related. You also have exclusive access to 21 ebooks and 21 videos as part of the membership. And I have personally written um, those ebooks and recorded the videos and that I share all my expertise in, you know, two and a half decades of intensive care nursing. Once again, making sure you make informed decisions, have peace of mind, control, power and influence, making sure your loved one gets best care and treatment. I also offer one-on-one -on -one consulting over the phone, Skype, Zoom, WhatsApp, uh, whichever medium works best for you. I talk to you and your families directly and I handhold you through the process when you have a loved one in intensive care, making sure you stay two steps ahead of the intensive care team so you manage them and they're not managing you. I also talk to doctors and nurses directly and I ask all the questions to the doctors and nurses that you haven't even considered asking, but must be asked when you have a loved one critically ill in intensive care. Once again, making sure you make informed decisions, have peace of mind, control, power, and influence, making sure your loved one gets best care and treatment, and it'll change the dynamics in your favor when I talk to doctors and nurses directly. I also represent you in family meetings with intensive care teams, we also offer medical record reviews in real time so that you can get a second opinion in real time. We also offer medical record reviews after intensive care. If you have unanswered questions, if you need closure, or if you are suspecting medical negligence. And all of that you get at intensivecarehotline.com. Call us on one of the numbers on the top of our website or send an email to support at intensivecarehotline.com with your questions. And if you like my videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel for regular updates for families in intensive care. Click the like button, click the notification bell, comment below what you want to see next, what questions and insights you have. Share the video with your friends and families so that we can help as many families in intensive care as possible. I also do a weekly YouTube live where I answer your questions live on a show. And you will get notification if you are a subscriber to my YouTube channel or if you are a subscriber to our email newsletter at intensivecarehotline.com. Thank you so much for watching. This is Patrick Hotzel from intensivecarehotline.com and I will talk to you in a few days. Take care for now.